Good afternoon. The, we are rejoining the story from page 64 today. So if you remember, he was just describing the witches. And they looked like she would roll it around and round her mouth like a piece of hot pork crackling before spitting it out. Remove your vigs and get some fresh air into your spotty scalps, she shouted. And another sigh of relief arose from the audience as all the hands went up to the heads and all the wigs, with the hats still on them, were lifted away. There now appeared in front of me a, a row upon row of bold female heads, a sea of naked scalps, every one of them red and itchy looking. From being rubbed by the linings of the wig, I simply cannot tell you how awful they were, and somehow the whole sight was made more grotesque, because underneath those frightful scabby bald heads, the bodies were dressed in fashionable and rather pretty clothes. It was monstrous. It was unnatural. Oh heavens, I thought. Oh help. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Those foul, bald headed females are ki child killers, every one of them. And here I am, imprisoned in the same room. I cannot escape. At that point, a new and doubly horrifying thought struck me. My grandmother had said that with their special nose holes, they could smell out a child on a pitch black night. From right across the other side of the road, up to now, my grandmother had been right every time. It seemed a certainty, therefore, that one of the witches, don't be scared, darling, in the back row was going to sniff me out at any moment, and then the yell of dog's droppings would go out all over the room and I'd be cornered like a rat. I knelt on the carpet behind the screen, hardly daring to breathe. Then suddenly, I remembered another very important thing my grandmother had told me. The dirtier you are, she had said, the harder it is for a witch to smell you out. How long had it been since I'd last had a bath? Not for ages. I had my own room in the hotel and my grandmother had never bothered with silly things like that. Come to think of it, I don't believe I'd had a bath since the day we arrived. When I had, had I last washed my hands or my face? Suddenly, so certainly, not this morning, not yesterday either. I glanced down at my hands. They were covered with smudge and mud and goodness knows what else besides. So perhaps I had a chance after all. Perhaps I had a chance after all. The stink waves couldn't possibly get out through all that dirt. Perhaps I had a chance. I wonder if any of you, how, how you, if you've been battling in lockdown. Now you don't have to get up and get dressed. Who's still in their pyjamas? Hmm? Me. You're in your pyjamas? Oh yeah, some of us are in our pyjamas still. So perhaps I had a chance after all. The stink waves couldn't possibly get through all that dirt. What dirt? The dirt. The witches can smell if you're not dirty. Witches of Ink Inkland, shouted the Grand High Witch. What she Inkland? noticed, she, her, she herself, I had noticed, had not taken off either her wig or her gloves or her shoes. Witches of Inkland, she yelled. The audience stirred uneasily and I sat up straighter in their chairs. Miserable witches, she yelled. Useless, lazy witches. Feeble, fribbling witches. You are a heap of idle, good-for-nothing worms. I, sh I should have went through the audience. <laughs> the Grand High Witch was clearly in an ugly mood, and they knew it. I had a feeling that something awful was going to happen soon. I am having my breakfast this morning, cried the Grand High Witch. High Witch. And I'm looking out of the window at the beach and what am I seeing? I am asking you, what am I seeing? I am asking you, what am I seeing? I am seeing a revolting sight. I am seeing hundreds, I am seeing thousands of rotten, repulsive little children playing on the sand. It is putting me right off my food. Why have you got not got rid of them, she screamed. Why have you not rubbed them all out, these filthy, smelly children? With each word she spoke, flecks of blue pale phlegm shot from her mouth like little bullets. 
I am asking you why, she screamed. Nobody answered the question. Children smell, she screamed. They stink out the world. We do not want these children around here. The bald heads in the audience all nodded vigorously. Von child a week is no good to me, the Grand High Witch cried out. Is that the best we can do? We will do better, we will do better, murmured the audience. We will do better, we will do much better. Better is not good enough either, shrieked the Grand High Witch. I demand maximum results. So here are my orders. My orders are that every single child in this country shall be rubbed out, squashed, averted, vitted, and fritted before I could come here again in one year's time. Do I make myself clear? A great gasp went up from the audience. I saw the witches all looking at one another with deeply troubled expressions, and I heard one witch at the end of the front row saying out loud, All of them? We can't possibly wipe out all of them. The Grand High Witch whipped round as though somebody had stuck a skewer into her bottom. Who said that? She snapped. Who dares to argue with me? It was you, wasn't it? Was it you, Oliver? Was it you, Dora? Who was it? Was it you? Did you shout out? She pointed a gloved finger as sharp as a needle at the witch who had spoken. Um, uh, I didn't mean it, your grandness, the witch cried out. I, I, I mean, I didn't mean to argue. I was just talking to myself. You dare to argue with me, screamed the Grand High Witch. I was just talking to myself, cried the wretched witch. I swear it, your grandness. You began... She began to shake with fear. The Grand High Witch took a step forwards. And when she spoke again, there was a voice that made my blood run cold. A stupid witch who answers back must burn until her bones are black. She screamed. No, no, begged the witch in the front row. The Grand High Witch went on. A foolish witch without a brain must sizzle in the fiery flames. Save me, cried the wretched witch in the front row. The Grand High Witch took no notice of her. She spoke again. An idiotic witch like you must roast upon the barbecue. Forgive me, oh, your grandness, cried the miserable culprit. I didn't mean it. But the Grand High Witch continued her terrible recital. A witch who dares to say I'm wrong will not be with us very long. 